Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyS2Root.com um, So today let me show you how to root your uh, AT&T Galaxy S2 on Linux using Heimdall um, This is for ICS AT&T Galaxy S2 um, So first you'll need to connect it to um, your computer and uh, to your USB to your computer, your Linux computer Hold down volume up, volume down and the power button and hold it down until your phone resets into uh, Odin download mode. All right, keep holding it down. And hit volume up. Um, you should see that. And uh, next, what we're gonna do is uh, go to our Linux computer. Next, uh, go ahead and download AT&T Galaxy S2 root Linux.zip. Uh, if you download it, unzip it. You'll find a folder with. A Heimdall blah blah dot deb and z image that's basically the rooted kernel we're going to install double click on Heimdall 1.3.2 um, to install it um, there we go and it'll probably if you're using Ubuntu it'll probably open up the software center and uh, you can just click to install um, for other Linux distribution uh, you can you know if you don't know how go Google how to install dot deb files I've already installed it, so I'm going to skip the step. Um, next, you're going to open up a terminal. Uh, just type terminal at the top, um, and you'll find a terminal app. Any kind of terminal will do. And we're going to browse into that directory. So let me zoom in here real quick and uh, focus. Um, next, you're going to type cd downloads like that, enter cd space att galaxy s2 root linux like that all right and next you're going to type sudo heimdall flash dash dash kernel z image like that exactly like that and hit enter and enter your password for your username um, and uh, i will upload the kernel and it'll say successful and uh let's go, let me change the camera angle real quick and my phone has rebooted and uh, let me focus here and uh, you should see that under settings um, under about phone you should have see a kernel there um, that there you go and everything should be working and uh, this auto roots your phone so you should have a super user now this is gonna of course increase your uh, count uh, if you ever want to unroot back for warranty purposes the only time you need to really reset your counter is uh, if you want to return your phone for warranty if you need to do that I have instructions on my site galaxy s2 root.com look at the AT&T galaxy s2 FAQ and in there you'll find a way how to uh, unroot using mobile Odin and that will your, uh, reset your counter and also get you back completely back to stock um, so that's how you do it uh, on Linux and uh, if you have a Galaxy S2 don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxyS2root.com uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the week and tips hacks and more and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email um, and also if you're on YouTube um, please hit that like button here subscribe button up here if you have thanks a lot and uh, use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus and uh, thanks you guys um, for supporting my channel and as always don't buy an iPhone it sucks